What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as America. In the previous part, we've been fighting Spain mostly. We took Barcelona, we took Zaragoza as well, and all that really remains would be to take out Toledo, just so we can have it. Like, we don't have to do it, but it'd be nice. Uh, so we could just grab that and then um, liberate Hattusa, so they can, or Hattusha, so they can be my ally again. Um, also, apparently we need a lot more housing. Amenities are uh, kind of tricky right now because, uh, let me check. We are dealing with a bit of war weariness. So we're making some of these entertainment complexes in um, Washington and San Francisco, which uh, will provide us with more amenities and we can build stuff like the circus, uh, the arenas, you know, stuff like that that you saw in Civilization V as well. Those all go into the entertainment complex now. It's just not necessarily every game that you actually have to make them, I believe. Uh, because, you know, there sometimes you get more luxuries or some other means of gaining amenities. And as you can see, you can get some from civics, from great people, religion, national parks. There's lots of ways to get more amenities. All right. So I'm guessing people are going to be a little bit upset with me. I don't mean you guys, by the way. I mean people in the game, the other civs, uh, by the fact that I actually fought back against Spain. Basically, I think what AI always expects you to do when you're under attack, someone has declared war on you, is to defend yourself and just leave it there. Uh, but I don't want to do that, though. I mean, if someone declares it's war on me... industrial revolution and the growth of urban concentrations that led to a sense of anonymity. If someone declares war on me, obviously I'm going to fight back and take one or two of their cities if I can, if not all. Uh, but we just unlocked urbanization, which gives us the neighborhoods, which will provide a whole lot of housing, depending on the tile where you create these. Uh, public transport, you get 50 gold per appeal of tile when replacing a farm with a neighborhood. So that's not even that good. Yeah, that would give us 150 gold. I mean, if you're not earning a lot of money, this is actually pretty nice. But uh, we are. Military academies and seaports generate one science. Again, it's just not that interesting to us. Maybe if I had a lot of seaports, maybe then it would be a good thing. Or military academies, but we only have one encampment. Uh, we have one harbor. I can say pretty pretty safely that, you know, this is not interesting to me. All right, so I'm going to upgrade you. Because you've earned it, my man. Uh, let's see. All right, so this knight has an upgrade as well. There you go. Also gives him a bit of healing. So first of all, let's fix the horses that we ruined. This actually does not cost a build. And as you can see, I have this funny little animation where they fix it really, really quickly. I mean, I guess some people might argue that it looks a little bit out of place, but at the same time, it's pretty funny. It's nice. Uh, so, you know, I don't mind it. Yeah, so the game still sort of says that I'm stuck in the industrial era or even Renaissance era because I never got Reformed Church. But again, I just don't really care that much that I want to grab it. Have a neighborhood district with breathtaking appeal. Research radio. Should be able to do that pretty soon. Have three cores in your military and then you can actually get defensive pacts and declare war of territorial expansion. Use to declare war on a power that borders your empire. Must have two of your cities within ten tiles of two opponent cities. And then your, your penalties are reduced a bit. Uh, but this, this is actually really good. Unit maintenance costs reduced by two gold per turn per unit. That is a pretty much direct upgrade from the, the one we have right now, which is conscription. So that's a lot better. All right, so in New York, we just made a, do, is the sewer really the, no, we made a rough rider. That's what we did. Let's move you up there. So we're gonna actually heal everybody up here that needs healing. You get an upgrade. And then we're gonna go after the rest of Spain's cities. I don't really care about his capital. I mean, I could try and, you know, take that out, but it seems like a, it, that would be a bit excessive. Neighborhood provides ba uh, housing based on the appeal of the tile. It just says plus four housing, but I don't know uh, what that is based on. But as you can see, like even one neighborhood would really give you a lot of housing and basically fix all the problems that we're having. But I know the appeal of this tile is amazing, so that would give us a whole lot of housing, but 
So basically breathtaking gives six, so that would give us six housing, but I'm not really sure if you can actually make it there. Now this would be really good if we actually get that one, let's see, policy that will give us gold because we would get 250 gold. It's not that big a deal, but it would be kind of nice, so I'll probably make a neighborhood right there. I'm just going to remember to uh, to actually get that policy. Needs one coal. Alright, so we're actually about to get some coal. Which apparently also gives you a whole lot of extra production. You're good. So we cannot upgrade him into an ironclad. I think we ought to do that because that will make this guy a whole lot tougher than just about anything else out there. I mean, this is three different caravels combined with the first upgrade, so clearly they're a bit stronger. But if they had not been fused together into a core, then the, obviously the ironclad would have been stronger. So I'm actually going to keep these units all around here. We could form a core of Rough Riders, but yeah, why not? Let's do it. There we go. So these are really strong now. You're good. All right, so that's looking good. We are ready for war with Norway if the need is still there. Uh, currently, they only have three civs converted. They haven't converted me anymore. And apparently, Spain has also escaped from their grasp now. Probably because I stole some of Spain's cities, so they're kind of messy right now. They're still fighting Zanzibar, and they are doing a very terrible job of it. I don't even know why they're choosing to fight Zanzibar. Seeing as I am their primary opponent. I mean, they declare war on me for a reason. But alright. So our main thing from now on is to get Hattusha, liberate them, because they can give me a whole lot of extra science. Which I would love. We're actually doing pretty good culturally as well, which I had not expected. But I am a pretty strong leader. Uh, Greece does have more culture. I mean, even Congo has more culture, but my tourism is pretty massive right now with the discovery of computers. Which is giving us, uh, actually doubles your tourism. And then I guess later on there's probably something else that also doubles it. If you come. Nay. Remove your spy. Uh, no. Nay. I really don't care about the relationship with this guy. And he had just cut off the uh, the quote, but we can now get the aerodrome, which we should really get at least one of these uh, for both both because I think we're probably going to need it, and also because of the all right because of the uh, city said quest for it. So we're going to try to steal more gold from Toronto. Not much else we can do. We cannot steal his technology because apparently he just sucks in technology, and we could sabotage his industrial zone, but there's not really a point to that. So. I'm going to steal a bit more cash from him. All right, you're good. We're going to keep a close eye on his um, possible victory, though, because clearly we do not want this guy winning the game. There's only one person here that should win the game, and that would be me. Let's get a farm here. I mean, the game's suggesting it, so it's probably a good idea. The knight is now really weak. He's been outclassed because of the technology stuff. Uh, this actually allows us to make film studios, which I would love to make because of the culture, and they give a lot more extra tourism. So I'm going to grab radio. We're supposed to build a national park, but I don't even know how to do that. Is that an improvement, or how does that national parks? There we go. Naturalist may be purchased in your city with faith after researching the conservation civic and can be used to designate national parks. Creating a national park consumes the naturalist unit. Okay. National parks can be built on a cluster of any four contiguous hexes that meet the following requirements. The tiles must be natural wonders, mountains, or a tile with an appeal of charming or better. All four of the, t four of the tiles must be owned by the same city. The tiles must form a diamond shape. No tile can have an improvement or district on it. A National Park's tourism output is equal to the total appeal of all the tiles included in the park. Creating a National Park will also give your civilization extra amenities. Two in the city, and one towards the four closest cities. That's kind of cool, and we actually could get one around here or something, I don't even know. 
All right, we got a great person though. We got the next scientist, Alfred Nobel or Nobel. Triggers the Eureka moment for one random technology from the modern or atomic era, and you get some um, great person points as well, which is kind of nice. Ooh, Krenz 2 Cosmetics, a uniquely manufactured luxury resource which provides plus four amenities. That's really good. We're gonna get that one for sure. All right, so let's use our scientist straight away because why not? And boost me up, son. Synthetic materials. Which is what? There it is. That allows us to make helicopters already. I mean, we are ahead in terms of science. That is safe to say. All right, so everybody's all healed up. Let's um, begin our next little adventure here. There you go. I'm actually going to have the knights just sort of hang back uh, and only use him if we absolutely have to, but, you know, he's quite weak and I would prefer for him not to die. We're going to get some some wheat going there. At least Baltimore will have slightly more food, but, I mean, this city's just not going to grow that much, sadly. Kind of messed that up. I never should have settled here. Yep, no, I got you. I only have one boat. He is not impressed. Dude, I'd like to see his navy. I haven't even seen it. Alright, Trajan warned Spain. Because Spain apparently doesn't have enough population. I mean, that's fair to say because, you know, clearly... That's kind of my fault there. Japan completed research in, on industrialization, which is... <laughs> that one. All right. So we have sort of an idea of where Japan is located in terms of technology. Still fighting Zanzibar. Still don't know why. All right. Let's just form a core because why not? Your progress towards mobilization has advanced considerably because we, we needed three cores, which we do now, and that's nice. I actually did that completely by accident. All right, destroy his quadrarame. I mean, why would you even still have a quadrarame? It's uh, 1770, man. Get with the times. Make something that doesn't suck. In the meantime, let's just get into a university here. Boom, there we go. All right, so let's get you there. Oh, he's got no units protecting this stuff. All right, we're good. Let's go, boys. Taking out Toledo. All right, we could pillage his science. Why not do it? It's 25 of science. That's not a big deal. All right. At least that's kind of bad for him because that means he's not really producing science in this city anymore. Honestly, looking at this, I might as well attack. Normally, I believe you have to use ranged attacks to take down the walls, but with how little damage I take in return, I mean, I am going to be okay. All right, let's get another farm then. All right, you're good. It's just sort of protect our, our seas. If Grace tries anything, which I don't think they will, but if they do, we'll have a boat. And all right, that's not bad. Sure. We still got some deals going. He obviously doesn't want Norway or Spain to win either. Oh God, he's got really high military strength. I mean, we could actually beat him pretty easily, I'm sure, but still. And he just got... Greece, oh my God, that's pretty bad because Greece was actually his biggest opponent when it comes to religion. If he gets one more sieve, we move in for the kill. Although I see, look at all these apostles owned by Japan. What are you doing? Are you shooting the cavalry? Why? What does that gain you? That's just silly. Yeah, this guy only has one range, so we're gonna have to actually move the Rough Rider out of the way a bit so that the machine gun can get in range of the city, but he will tear through that wall. All right, we're gonna need like one. Yeah, pillage that. Let's see what we get. A bit of gold. All right, just go to sleep. Need more housing in Washington. 
All right. All right, sweet. So let's get one more farm for bulbs some more. They're slowly starting to grow. Emphasis on slowly. Dude, just work that, all right? I need you guys to grow a little bit more. Oh, they had a bank in Zaragoza. No way. So we can actually just repair it. It'll take a while, but we could just repair it. They also have a harbor. Hey, that's pretty nice. So that means we now have two harbors. So we kind of control this ocean now. The only one that, um, the only other person here would be Grace. All right, get a granary before we do anything else. Fix the granary over there. This trader. Sure, get a road to Barcelona. Seems like a nice idea. Yeah, he can't do anything right now, so. Oh, we just pillaged another building. Oh my God, all right. Well, we're gonna have to fix all this when we get the city. But uh, I don't really mind, because honestly, I'm not doing this for the city. I mean, it would be nice to own it, sure, but you know, it's not the main motivation for, for fighting Spain. I just want him gone and away from me. And taking these two cities and liberating Hattusha will do exactly that. Because he will be confined to Madrid. Which has amazing borders, by the way. I'm guessing... Let's see if we can figure this out. This is a holy site. This is also a holy site, so he must have a city maybe here. Alright, that explains it. Because these borders are... Giant. All right, so nobody's really... What was that? Oh, you bombarded my cavalry. Yeah, it's not really a big deal. I don't really mind. Bombarded. Oh, you would like my, my man. So we lost Vilnius, apparently. Uh, Vilnius gave me that bonus for every yeah, new era. So that's not the end of the world. We'll get them back. It's not a, not a biggie. All right, go there. Hey, promotion. Thank you. Yeah, all right. You just, you just sit tight and farm. All right, that's not bad, actually. I, I want to work that. So they might grow a little bit, but we would have to actually cut down some of this forest if we want Baltimore to be able to grow more. But at least I know now that even hills can actually provide food. It just requires you to actually do more work than in... Civ 5. Because there's less buildings that actually give you food. Oh, it's that damn Herald again. Didn't you already have me convert it? No, you did not. All right. Yeah, no, that's fine. You denounce me all you want, buddy. Talk to me in a hundred turns and see what, what's happened to your capital by then. I did not move my troops. Where do I, I don't have troops on his borders though? Unless they're talking about this, which makes no sense. That is within my own borders. Honestly, that seems kind of weird. I don't know what's going on there. Oh no, we took three damage. Whatever will I do? Crosswoman, you have bested me. Please don't kill me. And the nice part is that the walls actually do not get healed. All right, come on. I just want to take him down. All right, let's see how much damage this will do. Oh my god. This machine gun is just chewing through that wall. Yep, that wall's gone. All right, let's actually just heal. Uh, let's have you go after the, the units that we're seeing here. This is Zanzibar a bit. All right, so we're about to get the amenity district. At least that'll be nice. Uh, and then we focus a bit more on on housing wherever we need it. But at least we'll have more amenities and that'll... That should fix the situation a bit. Actually, apparently they're not war-weary anymore. I think it's only when it, it happens near the city or something. So this there should be war-weariness here. There's not. There's here, though, because they are, um, occupied, obviously. All right. 
I guess I just don't really understand amenities yet. That's on me. Film studio, that's gonna be the number one thing for me to make, actually. Just because that cultural victory might be a nice little backup if science doesn't work out. And we are currently beating Greece right there. I don't even know what's happening here. Oh, he's bombarding the cavalry. Alright, but his walls are gonna be gone next turn and then he'll have no means of bombarding me anymore. I'm looking forward to that moment. Good job, Zanzibar. Stuff catapults and stuff there. Actually, I don't even know where their army just went. Did they die or are they after Spain? I honestly just don't know. All right. Say bye to your walls. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kill this guy. I just want these guys gone. All right, yeah, do that. And then, you know, next turn we'll, we'll take the city. And then all that remains is to liberate Hattusha. And we are home free. All right, let's see. So amenities are all right. Housing's a problem though. So we should make either a neighborhood or a sewer. Oh, that is perfect. I mean, this is breathtaking apparently. I'm guessing because of all these different districts that are sort of stacked uh, together. Let's build it there. And then I'm actually gonna use that um, civic or policy that gives me gold for the, the neighborhoods on farms because that way we get a whole bunch of extra cash. It's not that I need the cash, but it'd be nice. Because that would allow us to um, buy some type of great person we would like. This city provides plus one appeal to any tiles it owns. I feel like appeal is actually going to come into effect with the cultural victory a bit more later on as well, but I don't know for sure. Uh, that would kind of make sense to me, though. All right, I might try to actually buy the... Either a musician or an artist. Yeah, we have, we have room for art, absolutely. Oh, that's a no for me. That is a firm no for peace. You are offering me a little chunk of money, and I like that. But I'm going to need to take Toledo from you just to teach you a lesson. Then I will liberate Hattusha, and then you can give me your money. It's gonna have to wait for now, though. Your progress toward mass media has advanced considerably. Because we have radio the now. World without radio is a death world. All right. Film studio. Now that is what I'm talking about. Although apparently our... Yeah, it's the amenities, most likely. They just don't have that much food here. Uh, Alright, we're just gonna have to deal with that, I guess. Let's grab an arena, though. Because having a little more amenities that you really need already gives you a nice boost to your growth. And then, extract an artifact. That's probably not gonna happen anytime too soon. Film studio. Doesn't give us any housing, though. Where is the archaeologist? Am I missing him or... Maybe it's because we don't have the necessary... Oh, here we go. Because we don't have the necessary museum here, I guess. So we could actually get one in San Francisco and I think I will actually get one. So we can dig up an artifact so that we can get the, uh, the boost to this. Build three blight planes. That's not going to be happening anytime soon. So if we just do this. We access our unique unit, which is really good, apparently. And we get aluminum. So I'm going to go with that. We have to boost this th through either a great scientist or a spy. So you just got to bite the bullet or you got to get lucky is what they're basically saying. So we'll just try. All right, in Barcelona, let's get an arena. It'll take them a very long time to do this because, you know, they're unhappy and all that. I would kind of want them to work that, but I guess that's not happening. Yeah, the tile, some of the tiles here just aren't that great. All right. Well, it's time to say goodbye to your city, Spain. 
Don't worry, I'll, I'll take good care of her. Also, thanks for the free builder that you're about to give me. I do appreciate it. And there we go. Let's do... Come on. There we go. Yeah, okay, that guy's gone. I don't know what these dudes are doing. But, you know, don't really care either. They can go after Barcelona if they want to, but they'll die. Especially when the Rough Rider is uh, off duty next turn. I'll just... Oh, actually, we have a knight here. It's a bit of a defeat, but at least it'll help protect the farm here. All right, so fortify. I'm going to keep the city. Absolutely. And we will, first of all, let's grab the monument for the extra culture. We got an extra trade route slot, so we can actually have nine already. This is insane. And all right. That's not bad. So I'm assuming these guys will probably fall back to Atusha. Or even his capital. I mean, either way, he just needs to stay away. That's all I'll say. All right, go back in the water. So we're going to go after that. We're going to take that probably easier than Toledo because Toledo, um, it had better defenses than Hattusha has. So we should be able to take it pretty quickly. Actually, I'm guessing Rome is going to start liking me more with all this extra land that I own. Japan and uh, Norway engaging in a bit of Religious combat there. Come on, Japan. You got this. I believe in you. Actually, that is a lot of missionaries and apostles. Japan does not have this. This will only end in bloodshed. What are you doing? Seriously, that Rough Rider is about to come kick your ass. That's right. You just fall back now. This is not a battle that you should be fighting anymore, Spain. It's over. You dug your grave. And now you must lie in it. In order to rally people, governments need enemies. If they do not have a real enemy, they will invent one in order to mobilize us. All right, so this is pretty sweet. We can actually use you now. Yeah, it's just a direct upgrade. The old policy is now gone. And we can get rid of this because we're not making any more wonders. And now we can grab public transport. So it's pretty sweet. And it looks good to me. A lot of gold. All right. Well, like I said, I mean, this is what you wanted, so this is what you shall receive. Don't mind if I do. Toledo does not have enough food, I know. I'll go, I'm gonna go grab those bananas. Dude, everything is, it doesn't seem to be going super well, but you gotta keep in mind that not having enough of the amenities and stuff like that is not necessarily, um, that bad. It just means that your cities will not grow as quickly. It doesn't mean that you're going to start dying. Accumulate 25% less war weariness than usual. That's kind of nice. Have a neighborhood district with breathtaking appeal. We are actually about to get one of those in like 10 turns, so I'm going to wait. Let's get mass media. Yeah, we might be able to grab Broadway or the Cristo Redentor. All right, it's a very cultural wonder, but we'll see. You go there. You just heal, you did well though. Yeah, sure, I'll take him out. Basically, I want to destroy his entire army for declaring war on me. He must learn from his mistakes. There you go. Yeah, you're doing good. Keep going. Actually, no, you're going to have to disembark next turn. All right. Still making an aqueduct in Boston, but we're going to try to get more neighborhoods.
But so far, I'm starting to feel like cities that are actually built um, right on the coast are not that good anymore. Because they're giving up a whole lot of room for improvements and districts and all that. I mean, there are some wonders that do get made in the water. Like the Colossus, you make that in the water. Uh, the Great Lighthouse. Obviously, your harbor. So there's still some application there, but if we had settled here, we could have still have gotten the harbor and all that. So it's actually a lot better now that you don't have to be on the coast. What are you guys doing? Come on. This isn't Harry Potter, all right? Quit that. Quit doing that stuff. Shooting laser beams into each other's buttholes. Just stop, okay? Still looking all right. Looking pretty good. All right, so our spy just earned a promotion. Steel technology is of two levels more experience. Takes no time to establish a presence. If the spy is in home territory, all your spies operate at plus one level. I'll just go with technologist. We stole some gold. The Rough Rider earned himself an upgrade, so let's just actually move him there. And then give him... I'm gonna give him that one so that he is more effective when fighting cities. There you go. Alright, this guy's gonna go get me some bananas. It's gonna be so good. How much more experience do we need? Ah, uh, just a bit more. I'm just hoping for an upgrade so that we don't have to, you know, move him back. Let's see how, how much movement actually takes to disembark. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. It's not entirely clear to me. Machine gun, or earn a promotion as well. Extra strength when defending versus city attacks. That might be a good one. It's always the fourth upgrade that's really good because that allows you to, to attack twice. I don't know what exercise zone of control really means, though. Does that mean that it's bigger, or...? Or perhaps ranged units normally don't have a zone of control. Either way, I'm just gonna go with this one. Seems better since we are, you know, at war and all that. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here for now. I hope you all enjoyed the video. In the next part, we will liberate Hattusha. I have no doubt that we will be successful there. Uh, we're getting some housing, and we're basically gonna continue down the path of technological victory. Hopefully, you know, culture's looking good too. We might give that a go, but um, yeah, we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.